I wanted to do a quick little video that's uh, basically a little summary of our close packed, uh, basically our simple cubic, our structure, our, our cubic structures, not simple cubic. Um, specifically, we're going to look at and do a little summary of simple cubic, ECC, and FCC. We're going to make a little table. Oftentimes, I think tables are very helpful in order to kind of organize your thoughts, especially in material science, where we're going to kind of be introducing a lot of topics at you. And this is a very, very handy table to have in order to help uh, for your exam prep uh, and do like this. So here, 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 so simple cubic, BCC. Again, it's nice to have an idea of the structure. And again, you can look at and identify BCC and FCC structures on our uh, periodic table as well. So you can kind of look at that and see which material corresponds to what. So let's go back here, so CC corners. And now we have one in the center here and FCC all those atoms at the faces. And then six faces down top. And there we go. So let's go ahead and summarize uh, and create like a little, you know, diagram on uh, what we should be kind of expecting or looking at here. So let's look at first number atoms. So how many number of atoms do I have for simple cubic? Well, hopefully, uh, get this down. Here, try this underneath here. So, simple cubic has one atom. Uh, so, it is actually the only primitive structure. So, we could call this a primitive unit cell, but the other values are uh, the other BCC and FCC are not primitive. They are conventional unit cells. BCC has two, FCC has four. What's the nearest neighbor distance? This will always be 2R, 2R, 2R. What is the next nearest neighbor distance? That will always be A. So A here is going to be equal to 2 root uh, 2R. How do we get that? So remember, this is in here, and this, this distance A is equal to 2R. But this would be the next nearest neighbor right here, so this guy. So again, 2R, 2R. So, uh, so if we had 2R squared, which is going to be 4R squared plus 4 r squared equals my c squared. So again, we can kind of do that. Uh, let's go ahead and do r. Let's do, let's do square root of eight r eight two. Hopefully, we all get that. But that is the next nearest neighbor distance. What about uh, the next nearest neighbor distance for BCC? We saw that was 4r over square root of 3. What about the, or and this is also equal to, again, uh, a. And what was our FCC distance? What was that? What was our a here? Well, that was also equal to, as we kind of uh, saw previously. Let's go ahead and look back one page. What was our a was equal to 2 root 2r. So we can kind of look at that value as well. Let's take a peek. Again, that was the diagram. That was our, again, our unit cell distance, or our lattice parameter. So let's get a look in here. A was equal to 2 root 2 r. So uh, that is not A, actually. Excuse me. That is just your, this is equal to our A parameter here. So sorry for that typo. <laughs> a is equal to 2 r for your simple cubic structure. Your nearest neighbor distance is this. So for A, our lattice parameter was our nearest, next nearest neighbor distance for those other uh, values as well. So let's go ahead and see if we can enter. Here we go. All right. So those are some useful parameters. But what was my number of nearest neighbors? For FCC was 6, 8, and 12. What was our, I want to do again, keep, keep going, keep entering. Sorry for this, I'm trying to just make this large. What about our atomic packing factor? APF. Well, this is equal to pi over 6, I believe. This was equal to 0 0.68, and this was 0 0.74. So, which of these structures is a close packed? No, no, yes. And also, HCP is a close packed structure as well.
So this is a very, very useful and handy table. I would definitely suggest that you make one of those, write this on your sheet, have it ready for your exam, uh, because it will be very, very, very useful when you're trying to calculate other parameters, especially when you get to RDFs and PDFs and pair distribution functions. So with that, I will see you in the next video, and we are going to get into close-packed planes and close-packed directions. Look forward to it. See you then.